Hello, I am Dr. Wafa Ibadawi, a consultant histopathologist. I'll be talking about perivascular epithelioid cell tumor of the uterus. That is uterine becoma myomelanocytic tumor. Definition and general background. It is a rare mesenchymal neoplasm of unclear histogenesis. It is composed of cells with the perivascular epithelioid cell morphology, which co-expresses smooth muscle and melanocytic markers. That is, it has myomelanocytic differentiation. It occurs during reproductive age and postmenopausal women. Only approximately 10% are associated with tuberous sclerosis complex that is syndromic becomas. Generally, it presents with non-specific gynecologic symptoms such as abnormal uterine bleeding, abdominal pelvic pain, hemobretonium. It may be incidentally discovered. Uterine becomas have a diverse biologic behavior. They are currently divided into three categories, benign, malignant, and certain malignant potential. Only approximately 100 cases have been reported to date. Molecular analysis shows inactivation of TSC1 and TSC2 in both syndromic tuberous sclerosis complex and sporadic becomas. The prototypic tumors of this group are angiomyolipoma, renal and extrarenal variants, lymphangiomyomatosis, clear cell sugar tumor of the lungs, Becoma not otherwise specified, NOS. MR findings of uterine becoma. This photo shows an enhanced axial T1 weighted MR image. The hypo-intense uterine lesion in the center of the circle. These two photos show Enhanced axial T1 weighted MR image showing the uterine mass. CT scan. CT scan shows metastatic becomas too. Brain, it shows a variably solid and cystic mass in the left posterior temporal loop. Liver, uh, it shows a heterogeneously enhancing mass. Chest, it shows a multilobular soft tissue mass in the right lower loop. Gross appearance. The uterine corpus is the most common location of becomas of the female reproductive organs. On gross examination, a large multinodular infiltrating mass is seen. The tumor may be tan white, rubbery and bulge somewhat on cut surface resembling a leiomyoma. However, if malignant, it often shows irregular borders and areas of soft yellow discoloration consistent with necrosis. Cut surface in this photo cut surface shows hemorrhagic tan yellow and softened surfaces. What is becomatosis? They are multiple becomas involving the uterus as well as other pelvic structures such as bowel, omentum, and lymph nodes. These are more common in patients affected by tuberous sclerosis complex. Microscopic features of becomas. 
The tumor infiltrates the myometrium in the form of irregular pangs, reminiscent of an endometrial stromal sarcoma of epithelioid cells with a xenophilic to clear cytoplasm. Infiltrative border is a worrisome histologic feature. Low magnification demonstrates a perivascular pattern of epithelioid tumor cells surrounding thin walled blood vessels. High magnification demonstrates relatively monotonous epithelioid cells with clear to xenophilic granular cytoplasm. Some nuclei have small prominent nucleoli. Bicoma is often composed of epithelioid and elongated cells with abundant cytoplasm, which ranges from xenophilic granular to clear. Thin and delicate vessels surround nests of epithelioid cells. In this photo, the tumor cells have clear to form a cytoplasm surrounded by delicate vascular network. Becomas are currently divided into three categories. Benign becomas show no worrisome features including size equals or more than 5 cm, infiltrative margin, increased cellularity, high-grade nuclear atibia, necrosis, lymphovascular invasion, mitosis equals or more than 1 per 50 high-power fields, Picomas with uncertain malignant potential show one to three worrisome features. Malignant picomas show four or more of the worrisome features. Picomas with the TFE3 fusion typically show nested alveolar growth of epithelioid clear cells low-grade atibia, rare mitosis. In these two photos, the tumor shows a distinctive vascular network, thin and delicate vessels surrounding nests of epithelioid cells. An area of the tumor composed of spindle cells in a fascicular pattern may be present but usually a minor component. Lymphangiolyomyomatosis, lamb like becomas, are rare and show. Predominantly spindle cells, thick walled blood vessels, cleft slit like spaces low-grade atibia, infrequent mitosis. Notice the epithelioid tumor cells with a xenophilic to clear cytoplasm aggregate around blood vessels. Lamb-like becomas may be present in uterus and or lymph nodes. Sclerosing becoma it is characterized by a prominent collagenous matrix separating tumor cell clusters. This photo shows corded growth of tumor cells in a background of dense stromal helianization. The tumor may display where some histologic features such as cytologic atibia in the form of nuclear enlargement and irregularity. Intranuclear pseudo-inclusions can be seen, however, are a non-specific finding. These two photos show a malignant becoma with high-grade nuclear atibia, multinucleated giant cells, 
melanoma-like macronuclei, and a typical mitosis. Tumor cells have dense xenophilic rhabdoid-like cytoplasm. Necrosis occurs in approximately 50% of the cases. Immunohistochemistry of becomas. Becomas show variable staining intensity and distribution for HMB45, often strong and diffuse, Milan A, marked 1 in 50%, often patchy, smooth muscle markers such as Desmin, focal and weak, however, may be strong and diffuse, Cathepsin, K in 100%, strong and diffuse. It is important to remember that immunohistochemistry plays a major role in the diagnosis of these lesions. Specifically, these tumors almost always co-express SMA and HMB45. HMB45 staining should be performed in all uterine epithelioid tumors that express smooth muscle markers. HMB45 positivity occurs in a third of such tumors. Its presence raising the possibility of a becoma and a potential association with tuberous sclerosis. Differential diagnosis of becomas. Epithelioid smooth muscle tumors, leiomyoma or leiomyosarcoma. They lack distinctive vascular network, thin and delicate vessels encountered in becomas. They usually contain some foci with conventional smooth muscle morphology such as well-defined spindling, prominent and more homogeneous cytoplasmic granularity and xenophilia, elongate cigar-shaped nuclei, juxtanuclear perinuclear vacuoles. They are typically negative or focally weakly positive for melanocytic markers and cathepsin K, no known association with TSC1 and TSC2 mutations or TFE3 fusions. Metastatic malignant melanoma and clear cell sarcoma, melanoma of soft parts, feature widespread nuclear atibia, prominent macronucleoli, Notable mitotic activity, variable amounts of melanin, negative for smooth muscle markers, strong reactivity for SOX10 and S100. Clinical history can be very helpful, such as skin melanoma. Clear cell sarcoma characteristically involves the deep fascial planes as in this sagittal section of the foot from an amputation. All the clear cell sarcoma has a translocation of 12-22 with an EWS ATF1 fusion gene. Alveolar soft part sarcoma. It is an exceedingly rare tumor in the uterus. It greatly overlaps morphologically with becoma. It is characterized by TFE3 gene fusions, which can also be seen in a subset of becomas. Alveolar soft part sarcoma shows focal condensation of xenophilic cytoplasm, periodic acid shift pass staining with diastase reveals varying amounts 
of intracellular rod-shaped crystalline material, diagnostic of alveolar soft part sarcoma. Negativity for smooth muscle and melanocytic markers. Nuclear TFE3 immunostaining, strong and diffuse. Classic A, S, P, S, C, R, 1, T, F, E, 3, Fusion. Treatment and prognosis. Sterectomy is the mainstay of therapy. Adjuvant therapy and targeted treatment with mTOR inhibitors are considered in advanced stage disease, high risk, and recurrent tumors. Becomas have benign, uncertain, or malignant behavior depending on presence or absence of various pathologic variables. Recurrences can occur years after original diagnosis. Malignant tumors tend to recur early after diagnosis. Some tumors, 15% classified as benign, behave in a malignant fashion. These are the references. Thank you.